There are a lot of tools and resources for designers out there and new ones are keep getting added every single week. Most of these tools and resources are not as helpful because they don't create immense value in designers life or make their job easier. In this video, we are going to talk about five tools and resources that are going to help you quite a lot. And we are super hopeful about their future because they're coming from very credible companies or building something that no one has built before. So let's check them out. For the first resource, I want you to meet Mona and Habit. These are the two font variables created by GitHub. GitHub, a company that is primarily known for its developer collaborations and tools. Now they have created something for the designers, two font variations that are open source, which they are known for, as well as free to use for all their designers. These fonts are super beautiful and they have talked about all the different kinds of usage that these fonts can have like posters, interface designs, etc. They have created an amazing landing page to introduce these pages with amazing storytelling giving personality to both these fonts. And this is so amazing to look at as a designer. You can also check out their multiple variations with weight, width as well as slant and see how they are going to work. The animations etc on this page are also super amazing. By the way. Have you noticed that the thumbnail of this particular video is also been designed in Mona and Habit? If you haven't checked that out, do check that out after watching the entire video. Let's check out the second tool, which is called Magician. The name really suits what this tool can do. The good thing about this is in comparison to something like a Unsplash or a Pixels is you don't have to go through hundreds of images you can just write what you're looking for and it will find the most relevant image for you they have also created a playground in figma that you can try out in the figma community we will add the link of that in the description as well but this is also something that we have really high hopes from because this has been developed by a company named diagram which is also behind the tool automator and prototyper let's talk about the third tool notion ai starting with a blank screen can be daunting whether you're writing a research report or a case study you know Notion recently announced this tool called Notion AI in which you can write the simple brief and it generates the copy for you. Whether you are starting with a blank page, whether you are already in the middle of something or you want to create some brainstorming ideas or the new ideas for the thing, Notion will help you. The best thing about this is it doesn't only let you write but also check grammar also help you translate in the real time and this is something that I am going to use quite a lot because Notion is something that is super close to me. I document all my files, all my projects on Notion itself. Number four on the list is Lottie app. So Lottie, as we know it, it's the biggest collection of animation. It helps designers design animations as well as export it to the developers. Now they have Lottie app, which where you can create all sorts of stories as well as animations. Now on your mobile phone, they have a lot of free animations to get started with. You can customize or personalize it based on colors, stroke widths, etc. And just export it in just a few clicks and the best part about this is you can also use the library to create collections of your own of the things that you have created or taken from the library the fifth resource on the list is lovers magazine seems like a dating website or app but it isn't it's a place where they have conducted and curated a lot of interviews of the product and ux designers you can also see the music or the design mixes that they hear on spotify as well as their own works so that you can take inspiration from. So finding designers, listening to their ideas, listening to the music they listen to and collecting the inspiration from their work has become super easy now with Lovers Magazine. So those were the five tools and resources that I am super hopeful for in the future because of the super potential that they have in creating the inspiration that you might be looking for. If you enjoyed this video, do let us know in the comment which was your favorite resource and we'll keep creating more videos like this in the future as well. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy designing.